Hey, 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 what's up, champions? Gediminas here. Hope you guys are doing fantastically well. Happy Wednesday, happy hump day. You're halfway through the week if you are hoping and wishing for that weekend to come faster. Uh, but today I wanted to talk about killing a monster. This is going to be important. Uh, if you're watching a replay of this, please do me a massive favor and stick hashtag replay into the comments. And if you're brand new, if you're watching one of my videos for the first time, then do say new in the comments because I'd like to welcome you to the tribe and say hello. Hey, Debbie, thanks for jumping on. Uh, and also, if at any point in this video you get some value from it, you learn something useful or you just find it entertaining or whatever, again, feel free to share this video. Maybe somebody else uh, will get some value to it and maybe we'll learn a thing or two. Hey, Nicola. Hey, Galena. Uh, thanks, guys, for jumping on. Okay, so the title of this video is Kill the Monster While It's a Baby. No, 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 no. I'm not talking about killing your babies. Calm down, calm down. Uh, it's something else. And it basically, it applies to your relationships as well as it applies to your business. And what does it basically mean? It means you need to act on a negative, toxic, bad situations when they start appearing in your business or when they start appearing in your relationships instead of just waiting because that monster is just going to grow. You know, if you are married or if you're in a relationship with, 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 with somebody else, you'll have these little things that will happen in your relationship where you get upset about them doing something or saying something or they get upset with you doing something or saying something. And unless you attack it, hey, Atar, thanks for joining in. Uh, unless you address this in your relationship uh, or if it's your business partner, again, unless you address that negative situation developing in your business, it's just going to grow and grow and grow and grow. And it's, it's never going to go away. It's just going to explode one day. So, you know, in, in personal relationships, when people are married, if they suppress these negative feelings, if they suppress these issues and they don't address them, they don't talk about it. It just keeps growing and growing and growing and growing until one day it explodes. And then they just, it's a nightmare. It's like a massive row and it may be even end the relationship. It ends up with a divorce or things like that. Right. Hey, Giuseppe, thanks for jumping on. And in business, it works the same way. If you start having something negative in your business, something in your team that, you know, maybe some people fighting against each other, or maybe there's some backbiting, or maybe there's some rumors being spread. Maybe there's some negativity between people. Maybe there's some animosity between leaders and the teams, etc. If you let it carry on, hoping that it will just get away, hoping that it will die out, you're making big mistake. Hey, Marcy, thanks for jumping on, right? If you let this negative situation to carry on, it's just going to keep growing and growing and growing and growing until it can actually really damage your business, until it can really cause some problems for you, your company, maybe, you know, uh, your team, etc. So, Again, if you see people uh, doing bad practices, if you see people, uh, you know, saying lies, if you see people doing things that are not ethical or even illegal and things like that, and sometimes it might just be one person in your whole team and you might think, well, everybody's okay. It's just this one person. You need to address it. You need to attack it. You need to kill it while it's small, while it's a baby, because if you let it, Hey, Nicola, if you let it grow, that one person can turn into two people, into five people, into 10 people. And before you know it, you have a full blown, you know, genocide happening in your team, you know, the full blown uh, problem, right? So you want to, uh, you know, address it as soon as possible. And I, and I saw this quote and I really loved it. And the quote said, wrong is wrong, even if everybody's doing it. And right is right, even if no one is doing it. So your integrity, your uh, ethics, your values, your virtues will play a big role in how you lead your team, in how you grow your business. Hey, Graham, thanks for jumping on, right? It will play a big role. And that's where you will see that smoke. You know, it's like, it's like a smoke in your house. 
If, if you were sitting in your living room and you started seeing some smoke coming out of the plug socket, would you just leave it saying, well, it's not on fire yet. It's okay. Let's just wait and see what happens. <laughs> and wait until the full blown fire starts. Only then you go and get your extinguisher. Or would you straight away jump on it? You go, oh my God, there's smoke. Let's, let's quickly get onto this. Let's solve the situation, right? You wouldn't wait until the fire started coming out of your wall, right? You would attack it right away. Well, same in your business. If there's some negativity, if there's some backbiting, if there's some uh, rumors being spread and things like that, you, that's the smoke. As soon as you heard about it, as soon as you find out that somebody's doing that, that's the smoke coming out. And if you leave it saying, ah, I'll deal with this later. Ah, maybe it will go away. Maybe nobody saw that. If you leave it, you will get a full blown fire and then you won't be able to deal with it by yourself anymore. <laughs> then you'll need to get, you know, other leaders involved Then you'll need the company involved and so on. You know what I mean? So that's the point of my today's video, guys. So whether it's your business or whether it's your personal relationships with your children, with your spouse, address things right away. If there's something was said or there was something done in your family, in your relationship that you're not happy about, address it right away. Don't be that, you know, don't start resenting that person. Don't start hating them without them even knowing, it, you know, because again, one of my favorite quotes of all time is by Nelson Mandela. And he said that feeling resentment, it's same like drinking poison and hoping that your enemy dies. <laughs> it, it never works, right? So same thing. This is there's probably one of the most useless emotions is feeling resentment against somebody else because they don't even freaking know it. <laughs> so instead, sit down with that person and go, look, I've got this issue. I wanted to, I know you probably didn't want to upset me. I know you probably didn't want to make me feel that way, but this is what happened. I want to talk to you about this, right? I'm sure you're better than this and I'm sure this is just a misunderstanding, but I wanted to get this out of the way and I wanted to, and nine times out of 10, 99 times out of a hundred, it will, you will, you know, you will sort it out and the relationship will just become stronger because of that and you'll be easier to communicate. But if you keep it, if you bottle it down, bottle it down, bottle it down, it's just a ticking time bomb before it explodes and then it can cause a lot more damage. Okay. So that's my training for today, guys. That's my tip for today. Hope you got some value from this. If you did, as always, feel free to share it. And if you're already in home-based business, I've got a free training for you on 26 ways how to get customers and sell more products. If you'd like to grab that training, just head over to titaniumsuccess.co.uk forward slash sales, and you'll be able to download that training from there. I'll drop a link uh, into the comments below. Have an awesome evening, guys. Love you loads. See you at the top. Bye for now.